All right, guys, we're doing Stevie Wonder today. This is called Sir Duke, and one of my favorite all-time songs. It's the 35th higher request on my list, and I've got about, I guess, 45 altogether. Then I'll take another higher request list. But Sir Duke, and my favorite part of this is the instrumental brass sections. Uh, they're just a lot of fun to play. Here's the intro for it. So I'll do something like this. Sean Cheek, welcome to my easy piano lessons. Uh, I always put the free part one on YouTube and the rest of the lessons for this will be on my website which is webpianoteacher.com right here where there are thousands and thousands of other lessons that I've done to help you learn to play piano or keyboard. I um, <coughs> have uh, very beginner lessons on there as well as uh, advanced lessons so whatever you're looking for I got it on there. Um, WebPianoTeacher.com also works on all your mobile devices, those of you who like to do that. Um, best place to contact me is on Facebook. Just do a Facebook search for WebPianoTeacher.com and you'll find me. I have another website if you're interested in learning how to sight read music and you want to just read music better. You're a horrible reader and you want to be good at it. I used to be in that boat till I retrained my brain and, and taught myself uh, how to sight read. Um, you know, which is how to read on the spot. And uh, that's my site for doing that, SeanCheek.com. Uh, no popular songs on there, just my own um, uh, series on how to sight read. So anyway, let's get started with this part one here. What I'm going to do, I have a keyboard sound on here. Um, if a course works on piano, and if you have a brass sound, right, a brass layered brass sound, that'll sound really good. I don't have one on this. Um, digital piano so I didn't use that but I'm just using a basic electric piano sound because it sounds good for the, uh, the rest of it when you do the verse and chorus and so forth so whatever sound you want to use if you have a keyboard but what I'm, I'm doing what I call displacing the octaves okay this is what we get with my lessons with that you won't get with others <laughs> I've played a lot of instruments through the years and done a lot of transcribing and I try to do what I can to make it sound like the album version and it will kind of fill out these octave brass sounds if you'll displace the octaves you'll play one octave here but instead of playing the other octave here play it down here It'll fill it out, especially if you have an acoustic piano. Um, it'll fill it out in a way that, that you maybe didn't realize it would do that. Okay? Instead of playing like this. Okay? Because you'll get those overtones and stuff, and it'll uh, really fill it out. Put a little edge to it. Okay? So that's why I'm going to do it here. If you have trouble playing your left hand, uh, just play the right. Just enjoy playing the melody. And really fun is the last, the, the instrumental at the end, you know, um, that whole deal, which we do all of it on the website. We do all the lessons for it. And uh, I'll not only show you a keyboard way to play it, but also kind of a way that imitates the guitar on there. But, so, you know, figure out what you want to do, just right hand or left hand. And we'll do B, D sharp, F sharp, B. I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 5 on my right hand. On my left hand, I'm going to do 5, 3, 2, 1. And I'm going to get off of it. Ba, ba. I don't play it too fast. Feel the rhythm. Ba, 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 ba. No pedal. And then. Now for that, I'm going to do G sharp, G sharp. And then B, A sharp, B. And yes, I do realize my keyboard is not lining up with the letters on here. But you guys don't seem to use that anyway. <laughs> and it helps me to be able to put the, 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 key, the whiteboard a little bit that way. So I have a little more room here myself. But yes, I realize the C isn't lined up with the middle C. G sharp, G sharp. B, A sharp, B, and that goes together, ba da da So ba 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 da da and here's another ba da da D sharp, D natural, D sharp, and then G sharp. So da ba ba da da ba da 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 Now, fingering on that, maybe um, 2, 2, 3, 2, 1, and then 3, 2, 3, 5. 
that's just one way to do it. You could do it another way and it would work just fine. On the left hand, uh, three, three, one, two, or three, three, one, three, one, three, two, three, four, uh, one. Ba, 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 da, da. Okay? Alright, now let's go slow for from the beginning. And go. Ba, 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 ba. Now I'm going to go, now I have a habit of going. There's something you can do on brass instruments, that, uh, you know, that on a trumpet. Uh, I used to play trumpet, and we'll do all kinds of, of things uh, with our embouchure to make, make those sounds. And then I'll kind of imitate it if you want to roll down a G chord, but absolutely not necessary if you want to try it. G, D, B, G, 5, 3, 2, 1. The, the instruments do it there. I just got in the habit of doing it. <laughs> G G B B. Now D sharp or D C sharp D. Ba da da. There's another da da da. That's why I slur those together. So on the right hand it's just one one two two three two three and then G F sharp. On the left hand I'm going. Let's see five five three three one three two. You gotta put the space in there because you're gonna do it again, right? You go back. So you don't do this. What that is is the bass. Da, 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 da. Alright, and the bass is very important in this Motown stuff. So uh, but uh, bu, bu. I put it in there, even though there's not a, a keyboard thing going on. I think it's important. But don't play it until you repeat back and do it again. So we do it again. Here's the second time. Bu, 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 bu. and chorus and and so forth and I do it all on the website teach you different ways to do it uh, to your liking you know play it the way you want to make it your own as I always say now if you're adventurous and you want to try this beginning bigger what you could do is this you can play and I, since I'm at a severe angle here it's hard to do anything te technically virtuosic but piano I could do a lot better but what that would amount to is doing the right hand in octaves on the slow notes and then here yeah but when you get to the fast ones watch what we'll do we'll do A sharp B just do that instead of going that's too hard we'll just go even if you could do it it would make it sound laborious and we don't want that and then here we'll do the same thing D sharp and then just a single D and then here, G, G, B, B, and then, see how on the fast notes? I'll do that middle one, just one note. Okay, so we have. There we go. What am I doing on the left hand? I'm just playing the beginning note of each. B, G sharp, because that's the chord. B major, G sharp minor, G natural, and then F sharp. So, those of you who are adventurous want to try something different. Oh, I'm sorry. Two, three, four. But I like this too. Two, three, four, four, four. So, I hope you guys enjoy that. There's your part one. And uh, those of you who never, you know, can can buy a membership or, or support um, what I'm doing and are still learning from the lessons, you, you guys are welcome as well because I, I appreciate the views, you know. So uh, if you're watching the videos, you're helping me out, so I appreciate that. And you know, especially appreciate you guys who who do buy memberships. Uh, you know, I'm not a rich man, but I'm able to get by, uh, feed my family, doing this uh, online. So I appreciate that. It's a uh, truly a blessing uh, from God to be able to have this be my job because I really love it. So anyway, uh, see you on the website and I'll talk to you guys later.